Quill, a couple of home games for your team to begin the second round, taking on the Rockford Ice Hogs, one of your former teams. And just your impressions of what you've seen in the matchup so far. Well, it's definitely a little bit different series than against Grand Rapids. It's uh, not as dirty, not as physical, I would say. But, yeah, completely different team from GR. But I guess we're just not the start that we expected. But we need to get back on the road and get back to our hockey and try to play our game and not try to play their game which they're obviously better than us at. So we just need to stick to our plan and keep executing our routes. How tough is it to be patient and play the game the way you want to play it when you see one team racing up and down the ice in, in what appears to be a freewheeling style? Yeah, that's true. We just need to be patient with that. Like We can get frustrated after we let one or two goals. We still need to stick to it because it's a long series. Like We still have a chance and go game by game with one game, then the next one, and who knows what happens after. Yeah, it, one of the things I wondered about is the, the mentality of players uh, when you get down in the series, and it seems like, judging by practice and, and in and around the room, the guys are uh, still in very good spirits. Is it important to you to see that as a member of the team, that the guys aren't getting down with the results? Yes, of course. Like uh, You don't want to see guys getting mad or kind of like, oh, lose two games and we're done. Like, you're still, like I said, it's, uh, it's a long series. Like, you never know how things end up. Like Washington was down 2 nothing against Columbus, same thing, and they came back, won four in a row. So we still have games here, just got to go on the road, and we're obviously better on the road, so hopefully things turn out for us in a different direction. Rockford uh, came into this series with uh, great results on the power play against the Chicago Wolves. They've been able to get an important goal in each game on the power play as well. What do you see in what they're doing? Um, yeah, like you said, their power play is really confident right now. They got players they can score, and we know that too. Like we talked about it, you just gotta perfect in the perfect role, stay out of the box. But at the same time, when we get out there, just block some shots and make sure we don't give them what they want. When you take a look at going back on the road now for this team, a lot of teams would be uncomfortable with that. But this group seems to be very comfortable playing away from home. Any theories as to why you've been able to build that success over the course of the year on the road? Not sure why exactly, maybe because on the road there's less distractions for us. We just stay at the hotel, go to dinner together and just stay as a group. C compared to here, everyone's got their own things going on at home. So maybe that's like the other factor when you go on the road and you just don't worry about anything but playing hockey. What about you? I mean, looking back on the start of the season, you're coming in from the KHL, you're adjusting back to the American Hockey League where you've played before. Uh, you've worked into a very important role with the team. What does it mean to you to be in this environment, playing in these important playoff games after where things started at the beginning of the year? Yeah, I'm really happy with that. Like The season started a little bit slower for me. Like I uh, had a tough first couple months, but then the things got better and uh, I feel pretty confident in my game lately. And yeah, being in this situation here, playing the second round and the team that we have, I feel really good about it. One of the things I wonder about is if playoff hockey suits your game. You seem to really like to get into the battles along the boards that try and win possession for your team, clear out the front of the net, get the puck moving. Do you feel like a, a playoff player type of a guy? Uh, yeah, I like. I, I would say I like playoff hockey more just because I like to be like a little physical, especially when people try to hit me. It's, Sometimes it's, it sounds funny, but it's a little bit easier to make a play because you can, you know, like the guys come in one way, and uh, yeah, I like these games. It's uh, it's intense, like it's more more adrenaline you get from those games, and it's good. I like. What, what about going up against Rockford? It's a place you know pretty well. Is it interesting for you to match up against a former team? I know the personnel changes. Yeah, um, I I thought it would be a little more personal, but at the end of the day, just another team coming in and playing against us. Like this is my team now here and. Rockford's in the past, plus, like you said, I don't know many people there. <laughs> what do you remember about from your time playing there? What was it like to be a part of that team in, in that community? Uh, we had a pretty good team when I was there too. It was uh, it was fun. It was uh, I don't know, it was just like different. So it was it was good. It was a different stage of your career as well. What was that like just at that point? Do you remember about what you were learning about being a pro? Yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, like you said, I was just coming into pro hockey, so it was it was more of a learning back then than right now I'm a little more mature I would say I know the things that I need to do to make sure I um, perform on the ice so back then it was more like learning making sure like you look at the older guys and see what they do and now it's more like just sticking to my game and not worry about other things. World Championships on the go in Denmark. Uh, you've uh, represented Belarus many times on the international stage. Is it interesting for you to follow it from afar? Yeah, obviously I always follow Belarus and it's a bit of a tough start for them and stuff for me also see that, but 
the end of the day, like I don't really know what's going on with the team there, and again, really say much, but hopefully they turn things around for them because I think they have a good group of guys too. Good, uh, just just stick to it and be confident in, in themselves. Sounds great. Sounds like a good approach for the Moose too. Thanks for this. Yeah, thank you.